fine. So we are just done with the Indus Valley civilization and now we have to start like this particular uh, you know, topic that's the Chalcolithic culture, right? So Chalcolithic culture is actually not that important for us. Why? Because questions are not coming very frequently from the Chalcolithic. What should I write? Chalcolithic culture or Chalcolithic cultures? Chalcolithic cultures, yes. Okay. Now look, this is one particular topic, like though as I told you that very frequently the questions are not coming from Chalcolithic cultures, but that does not mean we are going to skip this topic because on regular occasions they have been asking questions from the Chalcolithic and that is the reason because of what you have to prepare the like this topic as well. So there are two topics which are like you know alternatively being asked and these are Chalcolithic and Megalithic. So the year you will find the question from Chalcolithic, so that year the Megalithic, the question from Megalithic won't be there and the year when they have been asking Megalithic, so the question does not exist from the Chalcolithic. So you always be ready for one question from either Chalcolithic or from Megalithic so these two cultures are very important but ठीक है यार IBC की तरह नहीं है जहाँ पे हमें इतना वक्त देना पड़े इसको तो हम थोड़ा जल्दी खत्म करेंगे चाल को लेते कल्चर but we'll try to understand all the aspects of it now let me tell you or in fact you are going to tell me what's the significance of चाल को लेते कल्चर why it's very important in the development of any history any prehistory or any period where you see ultimately the evolution of the human being in that particular perspective, why do you think that it's you know it's having great importance? Use of metal. Use of metal. metal. Very nice. What else? What is the significance of the Chalcolithic culture? Why it's very important? You guys are dealing with the minor things. Mira vision thoda bada hai. Bade vision mein soch ke dekho. छोटे विजन वाली बात हाँ डेवलपमेंट के अच्छा डेवलपमेंट तेज हो गई है यहाँ पे पापा बोल रहे हैं कि आईएएस बनना है आप बोलते हैं यूट्यूबर बनना है ठीक है मैं बड़ी बात पूछ रहा हूँ आप छोटी बात बता रहे हैं ठीक है कुछ और बताइए ढंग का चालकुलिथिक आपको क्यों लगता है कि काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट होनी चाहिए किसी भी कल्चर में या किसी भी सोसाइटी के एवोल्यूशन को अगर हम देख रहे हैं तो चालकुलिथिक को इम्पॉर्टेंट होना चाहिए ये मैं पूछने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ आपसे why you believe that it is very, very, very important? It's so unfortunate that the questions are not coming and I'll give you the reasons because of what the questions are not being asked very frequently from the Chalcolithic. Maybe after 20 years, UPS will start asking more questions from the Chalcolithic, but at least after 20 years, not before that. Abhi to mujhe near future mein nahi dikh raha hai sa gach. Chalcolithic is one stage of development. That's the greatest significance of it, right? When you talk about the development of the cultures, right, we have discussed about Paleolithic, then we discuss about Mesolithic, then we talked about Neolithic and after Neolithic we jumped into the Indus Valley Civilization but then we have been missing something, we have skipped something and that the, the thing that or the culture or that particular stage of development what we have missed that's actually being covered by the Chalcolithic. So when you talk about Paleolithic and then there were three different different phases in Paleolithic, like you have in every stage you have seen some sort of development, right? Then you come came to the Mesolithic and then you also saw again one sort of development in Mesolithic. Then once you came to Neolithic and then you started talking about agriculture, the human settlements and so on. And so when you talk about this kind of development, so if you have been really trying to understand them gradually, in that case before coming to IVC, I think we should have discussed the Chalcolithic culture because before reaching to the Bronze Age civilizations or the cultures, first we should discuss about the Chalcolithic culture. But it's so unfortunate that we haven't discussed. And there is a reason behind this because of what we haven't discussed about this Chalcolithic culture. So basically it is one of the most important phases of the evolution and that's the reason because of what we should talk, we should talk more about. But then the question is that if it is so important that why so many questions are not coming, if I, I, I say that Harappan civilization is very important, so in the same respect I can say the Chalcolithic is also very important, but the reason because of a good number of questions are not being asked is very simple, that unfortunately the studies or the researches, right, have not been done in a proper manner and this is the reason because of what we have been lacking information on Chalcolithic cultures. Unfortunately, the way we have been discussing about Indus Valley Civilization, there are several theories for the origin, there are several theories for the decline, there are several you know, concepts that we have discussed for the features of urbanization. Unfortunately, this much like you know, 
uh, this much, this much detailed studies have not been done so far and this is the reason because of what nothing can be said very confirmly and any topic or any particular phase of the development, if it is very vague in that case, undoubtedly the people are facing problem while framing the questions. Nahi frame kar sakte, problem hai wahan se, kyunki cheeze bahut confirm nahi, cheeze bahut dicey condition mein hai, bahut vague hai, that's the reason because of what the questions are not being framed. But over the period when the research will be more developed, we'll be able to collect more information on child quality, undoubtedly it's going to develop. But like the way the works are happening, I'm not very satisfied. ठीक है ऐसे मैं कोई नहीं हूँ कि satisfied होने से मेरे फर्क पड़ता है। But जिस तरीके से चालकलोथिक ignored culture रहा है इंडिया में और अभी भी बहुत हद तक ignored है, उसकी वजह से अभी लंबा वक्त लगेगा या अरसा लगेगा जब ये prominent बनेगा, right? So I hope you got the point कि it is one stage of development. Then why did we skip this particular stage in order to jump into IVC? Sorry? Because copper doesn't have much use. Much uses, okay, fine. What else? Anybody? I haven't skipped this. I have covered it. Sorry? IVC is part of chalcolithic culture. Which phase of IVC can be considered as early IVC, right? So I haven't skipped this particular topic. I did cover, right? I did not emphasize a lot, but the moment you talk about IVC, specifically the gradual evolution of IVC, at that point of time, you all should know that the early phase is basically nothing but the chalcolithic phase only. And then what happens further, this particular phase converted into a mature phase and then started using bronze. So we haven't skipped it. We have already covered it. But then it is also indicating towards uh, like, you know, one more thing. The moment, if you have studied anything on chalcolithic cultures, you must have realized one fact that most of the chalcolithic cultures we have been discussing in which part of India? Western part of India. Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, MP, Madhya Pradesh. These are the four states which are primarily being discussed by us. So that's the reason because of what in the beginning itself you have to make one idea very clear in your mind. Ki the moment I talk about chalcolithic, there should be some clarity about this. Ki there are certain chalcolithics that could be called as Harappan chalcolithic culture, right? The second, what I have been trying to discuss is basically the non-Harappan chalcolithic cultures. So look at your questions, the paper in the paper. Now they have very categorically mentioning this in the paper, non-Harappan chalcolithic cultures. Have you noticed this in your paper? They have mentioned it non-Harappan chalcolithic culture. Why? Because we cannot talk about much about the Harappan chalcolithic culture because that we have already studied in form of Harappan civilization and that's the reason because of what it's not being asked. So most of the time the questions are coming from the non-Harappan chalcolithic cultures because that stands very important, uh, you know, Im important for you. So he, like we are focused more mainly on, uh, mainly on the non-Harappan chalcolithic cultures. And then apart from this, like you know, we can talk about an another culture which is very important. That's called as copper hoard culture. Copper hoard culture. So when you study chalcolithic, you have to keep three things in your mind that there are three different kind of you know, copper cultures that could be noticed in India and that is called as Harappan chalcolithic cultures, non-Harappan chalcolithic cultures and then copper hoard cultures, right? And these two, right, these two are precisely we can say copper hoard cultures or sometimes even in South India, we have started using a different term and what is that? That's Neolithic chalcolithic culture, that's an another term, Neolithic chalcolithic culture, that another term that you have to keep in mind. Have you seen this term as well? The Neolithic Chalcolithic? Ye bhi dekha hoga aap logo ne? Aate hai. Ek ek karke hum sara discuss karenge abhi, thik hai? These are the various terms that you have to understand first and then only will enter into the Chalcolithic cultures. So let's first discuss about this Harappan Chalcolithic cultures. So you, the moment you talk about Harappan Chalcolithic cultures, there again you can talk about two distinct kind of cultures here. Like when you talk about the early IVC, right, early IVC, now this is also a Chalcolithic culture itself, right. So it had been using copper, now of course the limited use of copper was there. And I did tell you earlier also that when you talk about the Harappan civilization, unfortunately there is no massive use of bronze that could be noticed here. Okay? There is a very limited use of bronze, but since they knew how to use bronze or how to make bronze, 
but they had limited access to the resources because of what they had been using or they had been you know they were getting lesser stuff or they were making lesser stuff of the bronze and this is the reason because of what we can say copper had been or co copper was already used by them in the early IVC and certain bronze objects could be noticed even in the early IVC phase also but as I did tell you that the numbers were very less right. The second thing when IVC decline, not IVC decline because we have already discussed in the last class we cannot use the term decline rather what is the most appropriate term diffusion de-urbanization, ruralization, these are the most, most appropriate terms and that is the reason because of what we can say ki after that diffusion, I did tell you that what might be the result of like you know this, this decline or this diffusion, unfortunately now they are not capable of maintaining the same sort of development what they have maintained in the previous phase. So, this is the reason because of what now they could not get any access to the you know uh, to the tin. And this is the reason because of what they again started relying on what copper stuff right or the copper objects. So, basically the late phase of IVC could be also kept here. So, there is one particular region or there are certain regions of India where you find the cha Harappan Chalcolithic cultures. But the moment you talk about Harappan Chalcolithic cultures, I hope you all can realize that Harappan Chalcolithic cultures must be carrying more or less similar features to what? Harappan civilization right they must not be uh, they must not be showing a kind of distinct pattern or the feature of uh, the Chalcolithic cultures and that is the reason because of what we do not discuss much about the Harappan Chalcolithic cultures and I can bet on this that they won't ask any question on the Harappan Chalcolithic nahi puchhi nahi unko lagega ki behtar hai ki hum IVC pe puch le thik hai Harappan Chalcolithic pe koni puchta hai to nahi puchhenge wo Harappan Chalcolithic pe to questions kaha se aate hai non Harappan Chalcolithic cultures pe thik hai ab ye jo non Harappan Chalcolithic cultures hai that could be noticed mostly in the which mostly in which part of India the western part of India like as I have just now discussed about the states where we can notice the non Harappan Chalcolithic cultures. So, this is how like you know they, they are there, but then apart from this it is not necessary that you find all these cultures precisely in the western part you find the Chalcolithic cultures even in the other parts of India such as you can talk about certain parts of UP specifically in the eastern part of UP and then you can talk about some parts of Bengal then in northwest or northeast also you do find and mostly they were called as the copper hoard cultures because unfortunately they also never had a kind of you know great access to the copper mines as such because when you talk about the like you know chalcolithic cultures in the western side they had access to the uh, the, the mines which are there in Rajasthan but the you remember like you know just try to imagine the people those were there in the eastern part of UP Bihar and uh, Bihar and Bihar Jharkhand and uh, Bengal region unfortunately uh, probably they have never had this kind of access to the copper mines. So, it is assumed by the scholars that probably they were getting the copper from the Singbum mine of Jharkhand that is the possibility. So, that is the reason because of what they also never had a kind of great access, but you find that they had been using some copper cultures, how did this copper come over there? Like this is one important one 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 you know let us say uh, unresolved question for the historians they do not know much about it much about it. So, that is how like we can discuss about this uh, like we can use this term copper hoard cultures for the cultures which you find in the other areas. Now, one more thing that you have to understand here very carefully that when you talk about these non Harappan Chalcolithic cultures or let us say even copper hoard cultures also even after understanding the significance of this like we are not uh, paying proper atten attention to it like that also like sometimes in the you know in the previous classes I had been discussing that unfortunately what happens copper does not have this utility that it could have changed the life ways altogether. Theke? Copper say aap aaj ki date pe kya banate hai? Copper ka jada tar wire banane mein iska use hota hai ya phir puja ke bartan banate hai. Theke? Hum jo normal bartan istemal karte hai usme bhi hum copper ka istemal nahi karte wahi puja ke bartan bante hai ya phir jo hai wire. Wire is the I guess that this is the best use of it. So, basically uh, what I am trying to tell you that since copper could not have changed their life ways altogether that is the reason because of what that is the reason because of what uh, you know we always say that you can find certain things in continuity and what are the things that the, these are there in the continuity first of all I will say neolithic period. From neolithic they entered into the chalcolithic period 
and from Neolithic to Chalcolithic, when you see this transition, after this transition, you do not find that their life got completely changed. And then further, it had entered into a new age, a new era that's called as historical age, right? And you know, we focus more on this historical age. Why do we focus more on this historical age? Because there are so many institutions taking birth in the historical age. And historical age starts from which period? Not Vedic period, that's not the historical age. 600 BC. From here, it's considered as the historical age. So I hope you got my point, ki from the Mahajanpada period, if the historical age starts, so how do you see this historical age? There are several institutions which are getting established. Institutions as in political institution, right? You all know that state formation is one important change which is happening in the Mahajanpada period. Then you see, uh, let's say, urbanization, the second important institution. Then you talk about, let's say, certain other institution also. We'll discuss about all those institutions we'll come to the, once we'll come to the historical age or let's say Mahajanpada period. So don't you think that though, like this Chalcolithic, is important in order to bring this greater transformation that's called as historical age. So that's how it is very important. So if this would not have happened, in that case, it's quite possible, it's quite possible that probably we would not have reached here. And when it comes to IVC, that was a kind of daydream for the Indian people. There was a certain period where they have reached to the apex of urbanization and that downfall we can see. And after that, as you all know, that most of the important achievements were somehow missed by us. And this is the reason because of what we can talk about a fresh beginning, a fresh start in form of this, right? So this, when you talk about India reaching or entering into the historical age, so probably if this Chalcolithic culture would not have appeared, in that case, it would be very tough for India to enter into the historical age. And this is the reason because of what we do talk about the Chalcolithic culture as the phase of transformation or the age of transformation, which like somehow enabled us to enter into this historical age. That's the significance of this. And this is the reason because of what like, you know, in most of the places what we do find, in most of the places we find that uh, immediately after the Chalcolithic period, the historical age is coming. And the moment you talk about historical age, one more thing that you have to keep in mind, here they had been using copper, but in historical age, there's another important or the major change was noticed, that's the iron. So basically, like, you know, the bronze age is unfortunately not coming. And before entering into the bronze age, they entered into the iron age. And once they have started using iron, so you all can realize one thing, then what is the use of bronze? If we have started using iron, so why to use the bronze? And that's the reason because of what they entered from here to here. And then the moment we entered into the Iron Age, and then as I told you, the different kind of institutions got settled in India. And then we always started discussing about the importance of this. But then it has really played a very important role with respect to this, right? And in fact, when you see any particular period or any particular age, in that case, what, 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 like, you know, what is the right way of seeing it? We always try to understand or catch the various developments. So we always discuss ki whether the Chalcolithic cultures did have the potential to convert themselves into a developed civilization or not. And that remains an important question for the historians. And I must tell you, yes, they did have the potential to convert themselves into a very developed, maybe urbanized civilization. But before the copper people or the Chalcolithic cultures would have converted themselves into an urbanized phase, what happened? they entered into the historical age. So once they entered into the historical age, so no need was there for this. And this is the reason because of what without reaching to the bronzes, they have entered into the historical age. So this is how you can <coughs> understand about this Chalcolithic culture, right? So these are various ideas like, you know, uh, for the Chalcolithic culture that you have to always keep in mind. And <coughs> these are the reasons because of what we have been using different kind of terms. Now I would like to show some, you know, pictures like some maps basically. <coughs> Contemporary, hai? contemporary, okay. <coughs> okay, Nitesh. Now, as you can see in this particular map, we can see several cultures which are there, okay. And as I had been discussing just now, ki, uh, like within this Chalcolithic cultures, you can find various kind of cultures, right? So there are several cultures that we can see: the Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture, okay, the Ahar culture, 
the Kaitha culture, okay, Malwa culture is not there, there another culture was there is Malwa culture, right, uh, Jorve culture. So there are different cultures which could be noticed in the western part, not precisely in the western part, rather I can say Rajasthan, uh, Gujarat, then I can talk about MP, Maharashtra and then Deccan also. In all these parts different cultures can be noticed. If we will go to the western part as I had been discussing ki this is a kind of copper hoard culture that could be noticed here. Certain parts of copper hoard cultures could be noticed even in this part also. And in fact this is the Neolithic culture so we have we are not supposed to do anything like with this culture. So these are the various cultures that could be noticed within this Chalcolithic, uh, uh, within this Chalcolithic culture. And these are the cultures what we are going to study in this particular period, right? So <coughs> you now got a rough idea. <coughs> now you got a rough idea of like where exactly these uh, these 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 uh, chalcolithic cultures were there. So now we'll be discussing some other things with respect to this, right? So now come to some serious questions of the chalcolithic for the chalcolithic cultures. Whenever we talk about any culture, <coughs> what are the most important you know, questions which are there? Kya hote kisi bhi culture ke liye, which uh, or what questions are more important? Whenever we talk about any culture, what is the first question? Way of leaving. chale jayenge way of leaving pe. Ruko, thoda dheere chalo, thik hai, thoda sabar kariye, hai na? Culture kaise start hota hai, right? So I think first question comes in, that's the origin of this culture, theek hai? And after the origin, then it comes to the specification. And after the specification, then you can talk about this way of life. Now in this way of life, we can talk about many things such as <coughs> settlement pattern, we can talk about subsistence, we can talk about <coughs> their political structure, we can talk about their social structure, their economic life, I mujhe upar likhna chahiye and so on, right? And at the end, we can talk about decline or whatsoever it is. A decline is one term which is not being endorsed by historians these days for any culture or civilization. I'm jada support in ikat right? So let's discuss about them one by one. So the first thing which comes in here, that's the origin of this uh, this particular culture. So you can see the location of these uh, like you know <coughs> these different cultures within the Chalcolithic. So we will be just trying to address them one by one. So whenever this culture is like you know, whenever these the origin of these culture uh, is concerned. So again you all can understand that there must be different theories are there for it. What would be the most dominant theory initially? Diffusionist theory. My Barber both the history is basically studying history is based on some models. If you model samaj mein aayega to aap nahi bhi pata hoga to haath pair to guma ke aai jaoge. Thik hai. Pahala model koon sa hota hai? Diffusionist model. diffusionist model, right? Now, there are certain scholars, I will dictate you all these things later on, okay? uh, specifically I can talk about H.D. Sakalya, he is, he was one person who had studied several Chalcolithic cultures specifically in Rajasthan that to certain you know sites like Ahar, Gilun and all these sites were being studied by him and I think you remember H.D. Sakalya, I did tell you about H.D. Sakalya for the excavation of some very important sites in Rajasthan. Can you tell me the name of that site which was discovered by him? And I told you that this discovery changed our perception for that particular 
फेज जबरदस्ती राजस्थान है तो काली बंगा ही होगा दिदवाना दिदवाना किसने एक्सकवेट किया था और मैंने दिदवाना के लिए दिदवाना से ज़्यादा एक इम्पॉर्टेंट है नॉट एग्जैक्टली सॉरी मैंने कुछ गलत इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया आपको दैट साइट वॉज बेसिकली देयर इन गुजरात नॉट इन दिस पार्ट लंगनज लंगनज राइट इन गुजरात और लंगनज के लिए मैंने क्या खास बताया था आपको पूरी कहानी सुनाई थी मैंने आपको कि देर वॉज वन साइट अ कपल ऑफ साइट्स वर डिस्कवर्ड बाई ए सी कार्लायल विच वर ऑफ विच फेज मेजोलिथिक बट एन अनफॉर्चुनेटली देवर नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग अ सफिशेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन मेजोलिथिक देन एच डी साकली आर डिस्कवर्ड लंगनज एंड आफ्टर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ लंगनज वी गॉट ए रियल पिक्चर ऑफ द मेजोलिथिक इन इंडिया दैट्स द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस पर्सन सर रिमेंबर इट ऐसे थोड़ा सोचोगे तो याद रहेगा ऐसे सब चीज़ रट्टा मारने का नहीं होता है ठीक है तो सोचते भी रहो यार कभी चलते हो सड़क पे तो थोड़ा सोच लिया कि जो है यार कौन सा साइड किसने एक्सकेवेट किया था ऐसे भी दीज आर द इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हाट यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड वेयर इन द मैप सेक्शन राइट आपको लिखना है आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट और आपको लगेगा कि जो है प्री और मेंस के बीच में जो तीन महीने मिलते हैं हम उसी तीन महीने में करिश्मा क्रिएट कर देंगे तो वो बॉलीवुड के सिनेमा में होता है वो तीन महीने में लोग जाके चैन बन जाते हैं और पता नहीं क्या क्या वो थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस करते और बन जाते ऐसा होता नहीं है ठीक है तो इसीलिए ये सब चीज़ें जो है थोड़ा दिमाग में डालो कीप ऑन थिंकिंग दीज काइन ऑफ थिंग कि अच्छा वो साइड किसने एक्सकेवेट किया था वो सब इन्फॉर्मेशन काम देगा क्योंकि इट्स ऑलमोस्ट इट्स वेरी टफ नॉट आई वुल से नो इम्पॉसिबल बट इट्स वेरी टफ टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट राइट बट यू जस्ट इमेजिन कि इफ यू हैव बिन रियली राइटिंग द नेम ऑफ द आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट इन योर मैप लाइक इन इन वाइल राइटिंग द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द मैप इट इज़ गोइंग टू गिव यू द यू ठीक है बहुत बड़ा एडेड एडवांटेज मिलेगा उसको आपको तो आप थोड़ा सा ये सब चीज़ें सो, सोचा करिए तो एच डी साकली एज द पर्सन हु एक्चुअली पुट फॉर लाइक यू पुट फॉरवर्ड दिस आइडिया एंड ही बिलीव्स कि एक्चुअली इट हैड द वेस्ट एशियन ओरिजिन यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड कि वेन एवर ही एनी एनी पर्सन टॉक्स अबाउट द डिफ्यूजन थियोरी दे हैव द सेम आइडिया एंड वॉज दैट कि लाइक पीपल हैव माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम इन ई पर्टिकुलर रीजन एंड देर माइट बी डिफरेंट वेज और डिफरेंट मेथड्स और डिफरेंट मूड्स थ्रू विच दे माइग्रेटेड अब वो सब हम बाद में बात करेंगे ठीक है इतना जरूरी भी नहीं है इसके लिए सो द फर्स्ट आइडिया इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लाइक यू नो फ्रॉम दिस डिफ्यूजनिस मॉडल वेयर देयर ऑरिजिन इज इमेजिन इन द वेस्ट एशिया दे माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम दिस रीजन एंड दैट्स ऑफ दिस चैलकुलेथिक कल्चर गॉट फॉर्म इन इंडिया द अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट सजेशन विच इज कमिंग राइट दैट्स बेसिकली द आर्यन ऑरिजिन थियोरी If we'll see the time frame for the Chalcolithic culture, that stands somewhere between 2600 BC to roughly around 400 or 300 BC. मतलब it starts, it is somehow like contemporary to the Harappans, and then it goes up to let's say even the historical age. The way I try to connect it with the historical age, you all can understand that it goes for a longer period. So since their existence was even there in the Vedic times also. and that's how certain scholars did try to connect it from uh, connect it with with the aryans also now it is precisely based on couple of ideas let me tell you so the first idea that in rigveda we find the references of couple of places rigveda we find the references of couple of places and these places are ultimately like you know later on the chalcolithic cultures were excavated in these sites so on the basis of that it had been claimed ki aryans were the authors of this particular culture I'm not saying it's right or wrong, ठीक है? But this is also one idea which has been given. But then this theory was also rejected because you know, you all know that when it comes to the early Vedic period, they have they were mainly concentrated in which area? Or they were confined in the sub Sindhava region. So it is very far from here, and that's the reason because of what this theory has been also rejected. So Aryan origin theory is also rejected. Then it comes to the next important theory, which is the IVC origin. so it's believe that the authors of this particular culture were very same those who have authored the another culture important culture called as harappan civilization 
Why? Because sometimes you'll find the cultural similarities are there, specifically in terms of pottery. Because when you talk about the Western, you know, cultures, they had been also using the black and red ware. And I told you the way of baking, the method of baking the uh, the pottery in an inverted way. And because of that, a different kind of pottery you do find, which is black from the inner side and the like, you know, it's, it's red from the outer side. So basically, the same pattern could be noticed among some of the Western cultures also. But do you really think that if there are two cultures which are contemporary, which are having linkages, in fact, you are also claiming that the authors were same. In that case, do you really believe that one culture will be very backward and the another culture will be so much superior? Is it possible? No. I think ideally speaking, if it was like this, in that case, there must be very frequent, uh, let us say, interaction or the exchanges between these two cultures and they quite have, like they, they must be, must be, they, they must be going for a kind of very frequent cultural, exp, uh, no, uh, the cultural exchanges and this is the reason because of what it does not seem possible. In fact, like there are two different theories, at one hand there are certain scholars are saying, you know, possibilities are there and some great scholars are there, they are saying ki possibilities are there, ki they were connected to each other. I am not refusing it completely. But then does, it does not mean that if they were connected to each other, it does not mean that it was the copy or the replica of, like replica of the Harappan civilization, first thing. And the second thing, the same people have authored this culture also, the possibility of this is very less. And since there is a great cultural differences between these two and uh, apart from certain similarities and that is the reason because of what we you know, even reject this theory as well. right? So if we have rejected all these theories, so at the end, this one theory is left. Indigenous origin. So I think the last theory. And I think with the term that I wrote here, the Neolithic Chalcolithic, that itself defines the origin of this particular culture. Because on many occasions you can find that in the like you know pre-phase, the Neolithic people were there. Uh, well, the pre-Chalcolithic phase, the Neolithic people were there, and from there they are like you know they are converting themselves into this Chalcolithic or let's say Neolithic Chalcolithic cultures. So the possibility is very high that it's a gradual transition. And I must tell you that there are several sites we have received specifically from Rajasthan, where we do have signs of what the signs of the transition. Okay. They are converting like you know in, in different uh, cultural different cultural zones, uh, phases basically. They are converting themselves into this you know Chalcolithic cultures and that is how we can say ki there are different theories and um, uh, but at the end we will be talking about that indigenous theory because that sounds to be more appropriate for the origin of this right. So when it comes to origin of this like we can talk about like you know these things. Okay? Then it comes to specifications, right? So when it comes to specifications, basically within this culture you do find many other, uh, like several cultures were there, right? So within this <coughs> Chalcolithic culture, there are several cultures were there and in fact couple of them I would like to, you know, write here and just a second. Isko mein hata do. Digital board or इसमें एक ही फर्क समझ में आता है वही मिटाने में बड़ी मेहनत करनी पड़ती है वो वाला नहीं चलता है ठीक है वो अच्छा अच्छी चीज़ है बाकी फिर मजा इसी में आता है पढ़ाने में old is gold yeah that's true ठीक है अब बुढ़ापे में यही सब सहारा है और कुछ कर भी नहीं सकते ठीक है okay so yes I was just discussing about the various cultures ठीक है specification so within this we can find various culture like within this like you know Chalcolithic culture we find we do find the various cultures right so I'll be writing the name and some important things right for the popular cultures so the most important culture that we find here is called as Ahar or Banas culture. The period of this culture is somewhere 2600, 2600 to 1900 BC. This is the oldest culture of Indus, uh, sorry, of the Chalcolithic, so of the Chalcolithic cultures, right? And you can see that where exactly it's located. It's located here. So basically in the Udaipur district, like you find, you see here and why it is here, can, can somebody tell me that why do we find the oldest Chalcolithic cultures in this particular part? Yeah. Kya? 
near to Khetri. In fact, in Udaipur district itself, we do find some mines, right? Some mines of uh, copper. And this is the reason because of, in fact, Ahar is one of the places like where we have seen the, uh, you know, copper mines, right? So that's the reason because of what, like, you know, the oldest culture could be noticed here. Ye jo picture hai, isme may be dusre tarike ke wo diye wa hai, age diye wa hai. You won't be confused with this. Like, you'll be following this one because I have, I have been following the more recent book, like, you know, uh, and that's the reason because of what it's more appropriate, right? So, ye to maine bhi internet se kahin se liya hai. Source to main reveal nahi karunga. Okay, fine. So, this is this culture, right? Ganeshwar and Jodhpura culture, it is also considered to be one oldest culture, but then it is not considered to be very important as such because in the modern times, we do not find it as separate culture, right? Okay, after this Aharan, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, let's discuss something about this Aharan Gilund culture. I just told you that this is the oldest, uh, like, you know, Chalcolithic culture. And in this particular culture, you can find that the transition from the Neolithic or, like, uh, yeah, from the Neolithic to, let's say, uh, Chalcolithic is very easily evident here. There are several sites which are, uh, like, found here. And in, in uh, like, on those sites, you can easily see that the gradually this particular culture is taking the transition, right? And in fact, uh, either you talk about their settlement pattern, either or else you talk about their agriculture, uh, their cattle rearing. In everything, you'll find that some gradual progression or the changes are there, and that's the reason because of what we can say the uh, like the transition is very clearly noticed here. Okay, okay. The next culture is the Kaitha culture. Kaitha culture. Now, Kaitha culture. As it's visible here, in which part it is there? Kaitha culture. So you can see <coughs> that this is the place where you can see the Kaitha culture, right? Kaltha, Kaitha and Malwa culture. We can take it from but this is there in the MP region or this Malwa region basically. So certain parts of Rajasthan and then MP. This is the place where you, see, where you see the Kaitha culture. So this is an another culture. Now when it comes to Kaitha culture, as you can see the time is coming after the Ahar or Banas culture, right? So since it is a later development and that's how you can find some more progresses or the developments could be easily noticed here. So here you start finding more copper objects. What else you can see? Apart from that, you can find that their life was becoming more structured, more developed in terms of tool, in terms of making the settlement. In fact, now you gradually start finding certain other structures also, like what kind of you know society, uh, what what kind of society it was, such as kinship society, chiefdom, and all these kind of uh, things that we'll discuss later on. But this is the next culture we can talk about. Then it comes to the third one. It's the Malwa culture. Malwa culture. So, Malwa culture is also a very important culture and in fact there are some very important sites which are there in Malwa culture. TK, you must have heard of Eran, Nagada, uh, Eran, Nagada, then uh, you know, uh, there, there are some more sites. Navada Toli is a very important site, right? So, these are some important sites which are there and the period of this is from 1700 to 1400 BC, right? So, it's even a late culture. Now, if you see the Malwa culture in that case, you can find that their life had become more structured during this particular period. More structured in terms of everything. So, settlement, their agriculture, their economy, uh, their economy, and then uh, like, you know, their, like the, the way it's, it's source key, they have started reaching to the chiefdom stage. So, some sort of political structure is also quite easily visible here. So, this is how we can say that the Malwa culture is the most, like, you know, developed culture, not most developed, but it's very developed, right? And then it comes to the Jorve culture. Now, Jorve culture is falling somewhere between 1400 to 700 BC. And I guess you all must have heard the sites like Daimabad, Inamgao. These sites you must have heard. So when you talk about Daimabad and Inamgao, so like ek bar Nitesh idhar dikha de na. This is the Jorbe, uh, like Jorbe, Jorbe culture. And the Jorbe, Jorbe culture, which is there precisely in Maharashtra, as you can see that it is appearing very late. And that's the reason because of what when it comes to most developed Chalcolithic cultures that could be noticed in this particular part only. So this is the Jorve culture and as I had been discussing about couple of sites such as 
I did talk about Daimabad and Inamgaon. These are two very you know, sites that you need to keep in mind. And in fact, any answer that you have been writing in uh, for the Chalcolithic culture, you need to mention all these sites, specifically Daimabad and Inamgaon, right? So these are like you know those cultures. Apart from this, also like some more cultures are there, such as in uh, like you know in Maharashtra, there is one culture that's called as Prakas culture. Okay, you might have heard of this place. Then in Gujarat also we do find some certain cultures such as Savalda culture is there. So there are so many other cultures which are also there but they are not very important. After that we can discuss about this copper hoard cultures. So it started pretty early but then it continued till very late. So you can see that from 2600 like sometimes it is also said ki 2800 BC. So it's quite possible because when you talk about 2800 BC it meant ki in this particular period what age must be going on at that point of time 2800 BC. कौन सा कल्चर होगा वहाँ पे या कौन सा फेज होगा नियोलिथिक एक्जैक्टली सो फ्रॉम नियोलिथिक यू सी दिस ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम नियोलिथिक टू दिस एंड दैट्स हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द ग्रेजुअल डेवलपमेंट अमंग द नियोलिथिक पीपल आल्सो एंड दे आर आल्सो ट्राइंग टू ग्रो ट्राइंग टू डेवलप this is how you see this particular culture right and then in some other path like you know here in bengal also there are certain sites okay then in north east also there are some some sites are there but they are not very important for us so we are not going to discuss much about them so basically we'll be fo focusing on these you know four five cultures which are the most important cultures for us right so when it comes to specifications you can talk about you know uh, these things have you noted it down okay हाँ लिख लीजिए ओ वाला भी जरूरी है चालकोलिथिक कल्चर है वो भी चालकोलिथिक कल्चर के अंदर देर आर सो मेनी वेराइटीज नॉन हरप हरप्पन चालकोलिथिक कल्चर नॉन हरप्पन चालकोलिथिक कल्चर्स वन यू टॉक अबाउट नॉन हरप्पन चालकोलिथिक कल्चर सो विद इन दैट यू कैन फाइंड ऑल दीज कल्चर्स एन ओ सी पी एस वेल राइट सो मतलब ओ कल्चर या फिर जो है आप जिसको आप कॉपर होड कल्चर कह रहे हैं ठीक है वो सब कल्चर्स उसके अंदर आते हैं सॉरी डेट आप उसको 2800 एट हंड्रेड टू नाइन हंड्रेड बी सी कर लीजिए फाइन सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट देयर लाइफ वेज This is the most important part for your UPSC life phase. Now try to understand the things one by one carefully. South में हाँ कंटेम क्या फेज बताया मैंने when I had been discussing about the ash mound sites. What is the period I did tell you? फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड के आसपास सो कंटेम्प्रेरी टू दैट यू कैन फाइंड द न्यूलिथिक कल्चर्स ओनली वही है फाइन हैव यू नोटिस दैट इन विच पर्टिकुलर प्लेसेस दे ऑल आर लोकेटेड आर दे प्रेजेंट इन वेरी फर्टाइल रीजन एज सच नो राइट ओके सो वेन इट कम्स टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट देयर इकोनॉमी राइट so the first thing that you have to keep in mind that unfortunately you do not find the presence of the chalcolithic cultures in very fertile zones you do not find it okay you do not find it them in the fertile zones as you can see that they these sites are there in rajasthan then they are there in you know uh, malwa that's bit fertile malwa is bit fertile i won't say that malwa is not but then malwa's land is suitable for the agriculture of some other things right they are not very convenient for the like rice wheat and all these cultivations okay then you see the jorve again deccan region right so as you can see that the locations were as such that unfortunately they were not they won't be capable to create what they won't be capable to create the great amount of surplus right so since they were not based in this fertile zones and this is the reason because of what they failed in creating the surplus and in fact it is not true that only this part in this part even uh, i must tell you that when i have written the ocp culture or this copper copper hoard cultures unfortunately you won't find that the copper hoard culture could be found or could be noticed 
like i am not trying to generalize the things because in history the generalization is something which is impossible but there are many sites which are there in those regions whether which are deeply forested or else there are some you know uh, kankar ridden areas or some you know stone ridden areas basically in these areas you can find the chalcolithic sites so probably they had been facing certain difficulties for the agricultural production even in the eastern side also and even in bengal when it comes to bengal i hope you all remember that bengal got settled very late have you got idea for this or not bengal got settled very late initially bengal was not very very much settled because it was a kind of full fledged delta and it was not very fertile it was a kind of kind of swamp area and there again you see some chalcolithic sites so basically you'll find that more or less i can say i can generalize it that the presence of chalcolithic cultures were always in such places but unfortunately they never had the possibility to create the surplus of course they had started practicing agriculture but their agriculture has not reached to that condition where they could have really created a great amount of surplus in order to achieve the further developments right so this is the problem and that's the reason because of what i'll say ki unfortunately they are agriculturist they are agriculturist but their what kind of agriculture it was it was always limited agriculture it was not a very flourished or very developed agriculture as such it had so many limitations yes this was this is how historians are saying if the climate even in this region was arid or semi arid region right to some extent it is also deciding their exact locations where you are when you are located in a very arid or semi arid region in that case what would be your preference to make your settlement which area you prefer near the, near the water. water and that's the reason because of what you'll find that the all the there are several rivers in this particular site and all these sites could be you know very precisely located they, they were very precisely located on the banks of rivers sometimes some main rivers such as narmada is there tapi is there right sometimes you'll find that some seasonal rivers are also used or the tributaries were also used so this is how you can find that the sites are always precisely located on the banks of rivers because they never had any chance to survive in the like you know other regions and that's how they were like you know they they were trying to make their settlements only in the regions which are closer to river so whatever the limited resources they had they used to like practice agriculture which is which was undoubtedly the main economy so historians do not say that agriculture was main economy rather they have been using a term which is called as the mixed economy i'll tell you what is this mixed economy but that kind of agriculture was there now if we'll talk about the chalcolithic cultures don't you think that the regional variations would be there in their production activities or the their the things what they have been producing if we'll talk about the western chalcolithic cultures in that case they had been mainly producing wheat and barley some other things were there but mainly wheat and barley were being produced but the moment we'll talk about the copper hood cultures right uh, or let's say certain certain sites in the bengal undoubtedly they were producing rice also so though rice was present like in some of the sites of uh, some of the sites of western cult chalcolithic cultures also but mainly we can say ki they had been producing right you know wheat and barley in the western part and rice in the eastern part that's how their economy was so their agriculture i won't say very flourished but definitely they had been trying to achieve or trying to get the surplus why because you know uh, you prove the surplus with the basis of the capacity of the jars understood the point if they do have the bigger jars it means they had the surplus right so we'll find the way i did tell you that if we'll start from ahar and and you'll go up to the last culture that's the jorve culture in that case you'll easily you'll be able to note down that the size of the jars were increasing it meant ki gradually they are into creating that surplus so it was coming it was very slowly coming to them but it was coming so that kind of economic developments we can agricultural developments we can talk about so if agriculture was not a kind of sufficient mean for their survival in that case they also relied upon pastoralism right so we can find ki they were very religiously doing pastoralism as well and in fact we do find the you know bones sorry we do find the like you know uh, the the animal bones very frequently over there theek okay? hai here i would like to tell you one more thing if we'll discuss or if we'll compare the western chalcolithic cultures with the eastern chalcolithic cultures or the ocp in that case you can find a difference if somebody is there in the western side 
so they do have access to the stones and that's how they had been using the stone tools in a major quantity but if we'll talk if we'll discuss about the ocp cultures and then or let's say the you know uh, or, or or let's say uh, the chalcolithic cultures in bengal do you really think that they could have uh, they could have better access to the stones as such these are like not that kind of region so this is the reason because of what in the eastern part you can find the bone tools have dominated on the other hand like in the western side the basalt tools or the basalt stone tools have dominated so there there's also one difference between these two right so pastoralism is something which is true for all the regions in a, even in the western part you find uh, this here pastoralism even in the eastern side also you find the pastoralism so it was Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, well, that's true, right? That's true. But look, I'm not saying at any point of time. I, 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 I am not say. I'm saying that these people were, uh, or their agriculture was very developed. I'm telling you that their agriculture was very limited, right? When you talk about the Harappan region, so we have now scientifically also proved that there was one patch of the period where the rainfall was slightly increased. But unfortunately, like if if you will talk about the Indus plain, so they had access to this plain. So if the rainfall is good in that case, definitely they could have created the surplus. But unfortunately, the location of the Chalcolithic people were in such places where if the rainfall was good also, even though they could not have created this surplus because the land must not have support, supported them, whereas the land was not very fertile in this particular region. And as again, I'll tell you one thing: we do have limited information for the Chalcolithic cultures. The kind of researches have been done on IVC. Unfortunately, we haven't conducted such kind of research on Chalcolithic cultures. That also you need to keep in mind. Okay, fine. So uh, yeah, pastoralism was the other thing. Now coming to the next part of their economy. Now this is something very important. And from here you can find so many questions. That's the craft practices what they had. And I should tell you very categorically that they had very extensive craft practices. Got it? <clears throat> now the moment you talk about craft, so look, I must tell you one thing: craft is something which is true for all the cultures. In whatsoever whatsoever stage they are, they do practice certain crafts. Yes or no? आप कपड़े पहनते हैं, ठीक है? अब खादी ग्राम उद्योग के पहनते हैं या जो है आप वैन हुसैन का पहनते हैं ये फर्क पड़ता है उससे ठीक है वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट सटन क्राफ्ट वर डेफिनेटली देयर बट वेदर दे वर वेरी स्पेशलाइज और नॉट दैट्स द थिंग विच मैटर्स राइट सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली इफ यू ट्रॉक अबाउट द चैलकुलेटिक कल्चर्स इन द इनिशियल टाइम यू वॉन्ट फाइन के देर क्राफ्ट वर वेरी डेवलप्ड बट द सेम सिचुएशन डिड नॉट प्रिवेल फॉर एवर Rather, you'll find that by the time you reach the Malwa and Jorve culture, their craft activities were getting more and more specialized and developed. Also, so when you reach to the Jorve, uh, sorry, uh, Malwa and the Jorve cultures, we'll find that they had like started producing so many things. What are the important craft activities among them? So first of all, I'll tell you about the pottery making. वो तो हर कल्चर का होता ही है. Pottery making. and i honestly should ex accept or admit that the range or the variety of the pottery that you find among the chalcolithic people that could not be noticed in any other culture so it starts from the black and red pottery theek hai black alag hai red alag hai black and red saath mein bhi hai theek hai starts from there and then you see so many different kind of you know wares were being prepared prepared by them in fact sometimes you even find the pgw also here and that's also one reason because of what the aryan origin theory was given at, at that point of time i missed to tell you so that's how a range of potteries are there so if you do find the range of pottery so in that case you all can understand ki it is always used as a very good source to discuss about what various aspects of their society as in आप बताइए कैसे कैसे हम पॉट्रीज को इंटरप्रेट करते हैं सीधा वहीं जम कर जाओगे ओके डेली लाइफ हाउस होल्ड ओके वही कलर्ड पॉट्री और ट्रू 
आपके विजन छोटे बड़े विजन में नहीं देखते हाँ यार ट्रू और एग्जैक्टली ट्राई टू गेट माई पॉइंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पॉटरी वी ट्राई टू असोसिएट दम विद द डिफरेंट एसोसिएट दम विद असोसिएट दम विद डिफरेंट कल्चर्स यू जस्ट टेल मी इफ द हरपन पॉटरी इज फाउंड ओवर देयर सो हाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी इंटरप्रेटेड दैट दे हैड सट सटन लिंकेजेस विद द हरपन कल्चर हाउ कम दैट पर्सन वॉज सेंग द वेस्टर्न ऑरिजिन एच डी साकली एज गिविंग द वेस्टर्न ऑरिजिन थेरी इट्स ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द पॉटरी because some spot some some similarities could be noticed by him and that's the reason because of what he is coming up with this conclusion that probably they had their origin in the like in this region and that's the reason because of what their pottery could be noticed so basically from the pottery we first of all try to discuss the origin of this particular culture and then second we try to associate themselves associate them with many other cultures i told you when the pgw is found here and i told you that very uh, like you know very precisely they were connected with the vedic people also when the black and red pottery was found and that too i told you the inverted manner wala you know a uh, black and uh, black and red pottery and i told you that they were connected with the harappan people on the basis of that so first of all their origin the second we can say ki they were connected with basically different cultures on the basis of that that's the sec second thing right uh, these, these are some important things right moving to the next after that what other information we do get the presence of pottery itself conveys so many ideas and i as i did tell you that what kind of pottery you do have If you have only the smaller vessels, अगर आपके पास सिर्फ छोटे बर्तन हैं, इसका मतलब क्या है? Surplus, surplus नहीं है, और आप सिर्फ जो है daily cooking के लिए उनका इस्तेमाल करते हैं। अगर आपके पास बड़े vessels मिलते हैं, ठीक है? इसका मतलब है you must have started creating the surplus and you are storing your food over there, and then you are gradually like you know uh, must be consuming it. That's the second idea. So I think the types of pottery itself is something which conveys so many ideas. So it does not convey only the agriculture; it also conveys the standard or the label of the agriculture that you have been practicing. That's the second information we do find, right? Then the points that you had been telling, like that, to some extent, they are they 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 are important, such as. the potties like you know and the images which were over there so certain paintings that could be noticed over the paint uh, like over the pottery so basically on then uh, like on the basis of these kind of things we draw several conclusions on the uh, chalcolithic people uh, chalcolithic people yeah right so that's the reason because of what this is considered to be a very important craft activity okay and as i told you that it actually enables uh, enables us to draw various conclusion over it one more thing that you have to keep in mind that one whole culture is named after that pottery and that's called as ocp that's ostre colored pottery so you can understand the specification of this because neolithic culture was already there so after neolithic they must have reached to a particular phase and this is the reason because of what a name has been given that ostre colored pottery so like you can understand the importance of this so undoubtedly it is showing if as i am i was telling you that after the neolithic once they entered into chalcolithic nothing much must have changed right but still there must be so many changes on the basis of what they had to name it as a different culture and that's how they came up with the idea of ocp culture that's also one important information that we do draw from right so potteries were very important for them that's what you need to keep in mind right after potteries what next we can discuss about the other craft so in the other crafts you can talk about the metal craft metal craft now this craft has undoubtedly originated in rajasthan area because they had early access to copper since they had early access to copper and that's how this craft is coming or this craft craft is you know gradually developing in this area but then dheere 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 you can see that they are becoming expert in this and this expertise can be easily noticed so i hope you all can understand ki after finding their stuff like the historians are actually enabled or they are you know capable of knowing that what was the level of expertise of these people so when you reach to this jorway and malwa culture i must tell you that though their access was slightly less to co copper objects or copper but the expertise what they had that was really amazing so this is the reason because of what they had been creating ample amount of you know uh, things out of this copper right so this is a very developed craft and in fact different kind of tools the vessels right they have created so it was also a very important craft that could be noticed next i can say after the metal right undoubtedly stone still important for them of course they are relying precisely or majorly on the stone 
and this is the reason because of what stone still remains very important to them and as a result of that you see that the uh, no, stone cutting or this was also a very popular craft practices they had. Apart from that you can find the bead making. So that perpetually remained even in this period also. So bead making was a very important craft followed by them. <coughs> and then some more crafts are there. Okay, okay, this is also one thing. Okay, fine. Now the point is this, right? Ki what was the stage of this economy or in which particular stage this economy was there? So if we we'll start from the Ahar culture or Banas culture, in that case, uh, undoubtedly we will be able to note down one thing, ki they were in the rural culture. So it was a rural community and it had been mostly dealing with the, like let's say, you know, uh, all of the rural elements and so on, right? But the moment you go ahead and then uh, in terms of time, we will find ki the gradual developments were there. And this is the reason because of what we can say ki by the time they reach to the Jorve cultures, now the sites have started coming up with a different kind of, you know, uh, examples of the evidences, right? So by the time they reach to the Jorve cultures, to some extent even the Malwa culture also, this is clearly visible ki now they did not remain anymore as what? rural culture. Rather, the science of urbanization is something, right, science of urbanization is very easily visible here. And what are the signs? How do you understand ki like urbanization is coming? You all understand the important like evidences for that. Once you find the bigger settlement, that's one thing. So you will start finding and Inamgao is considered to be the biggest settlement in Harappan, oh, sorry, Chalkolithic cultures, right. In Amgaut and Daimabad to some extent also. So these are the biggest sites. Then you start finding the fortification of sites and then you like you know we, you can find the consciousness, the consciousness of the for the class also in certain sites of uh, Chalcolithic cultures. Like there is a fortified settlement and in this fortified settlement you will find that certain houses are there. Most of the people were living around this fortified settlement and so on. So <coughs> then it comes to even specialization of the craft. Just now I had been discussing ki over the period this specialization appeared which is also a very important criteria. So uh, we can say that specialization of craft is there. Then uh, like city plans, not city planning but of course overpopulated or let us say the you know, populated cities were there. So undoubtedly the increase of the population is something which could, could be noticed. Class difference could be you know noticed here. Then over the period we have also realized some sort of you know science, some signs of further trade and commerce. So that is also appearing in this particular region, uh, yeah, trade and commerce which is very much present here. Now how do you understand the trade and commerce? Because once we find the non-local materials in, in any particular region, that is clearly indicating towards the trade and commerce. <coughs> They all were getting copper from Rajasthan. So this is a local trade which was already there. But then there were certain objects which were imported from outside also. And that is how we do believe ki they were much into this trade in commerce also. So we can say that say it is quite possible ki they have not converted themselves into a completely urbanized civilization. But they were tending towards this urbanized civilization. Ghar unke behtar ho Achha, normally you have seen that the most primitive cultures are in their home are goal or rectangular. Goal. And when they are developed, how do they become rectangular? You can see this transition in the Chalcolithic. First, they were circular hearts. And from that circular hearts to the, what? to the rectangular hearts they started making. Initially, what kind of you know, hearts they were making? First, you will find the single herds, single circular herds. From the single circular herd to the cluster of herds, that is also a specification of the Chalcolithic people. Kai sare ghar jai, clusters pe banate the wo log, wo bhi specification dekhne ko milta hai. Apart from that, like you know, later you find that they have been making many, you know, uh, uh, 12 room houses uh, could be also noticed. Or two or three kamre wale to bahut ghar milte hai hain. So that is how we can see that their, their settlement was also getting improved. And that's also indicating towards some sort of urbanization. That's also one side, right? Next, <coughs> one more thing that you have to keep in mind here, that when you talk about <coughs> when you talk about these Chalcolithic people, so they just now I told you that they have made the fortified settlements. Now, what do you think? Why the fortification? 
आप अपने घर में मा... देखो फ्लड जो है एक मिसकंसेप्शन है देखो अगर नर्मदा के बगल में है तो फ्लड के चांसेस हैं नर्मदा के किसी ट्रिब्यूटरी के बगल में है तो ये जो आप जिस एस्पेक्ट पे बात कर रहे हैं इस पर भी काफ़ी काम हुआ हुआ है स्कॉलर्स ने किया है तो एग्जैक्टली चांसेस आर मोर दैट दे वॉन्टेड टू प्रिवेंट दम सेल्स फ्राम द एनिमीज सो द मोमेंट आई एम सेंग एनिमीज आई होप यू ऑल आर इन लाइक ऑल आर यू ऑल कैन सक्सेसफुली ड्रा द कंक्लूजन आउट ऑफ इट एनिमीज कब होंगे दुश्मन कब होते हैं जिसमें जहाँ कुछ होगा है ना अब फकीर आदमी के घर में कुछ थोड़ी होता है यार फकीर आदमी के घर में तो कुछ नहीं होगा अब जैसे मेरे घर में कोई अगर करेगा कुछ नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है तो मैं तो फकीर हूँ लेकिन जो लोग रिच होते हैं रिच कौन होते हैं रिच होते हैं यार जो महंगे महंगे कपड़े पहनते हैं बड़े बड़े अच्छे अच्छे चश्मे लगा चश्मा लगाते हैं ठीक है महंगी पेन का इस्तेमाल करते हैं वो लोग रिच होते हैं ठीक है तो ये है सो so बेसिकली जो जब वेन एवर यू टॉक अबाउट दैट फोर्टिफिकेशन सो द फोर्टिफिकेशन इज क्लियरली इंडिकेटिंग टूवर्ड्स सम सॉर्ट ऑफ नोशन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी सम नोशन नोशन फॉर द प्रॉपर्टी एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट वी कैन से कि प्रॉब्ली द प्रॉपर्टी नोशन हैज अपियर्ड इन द चार्कोलेथिक कल्चर दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वट देर बीन यूजिंग राइट सो ओके ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर क्लियरली इंडिकेटिंग टूवर्ड्स वॉट clearly indicating towards a very developed i i i guess it's not incorrect to say very developed but i'll definitely say ki it is tending towards some sort of you know development so that's the specification of the economy of uh, this particular year right so that's how chalcolithic economy was there okay